My airplane is uh, is can be in the air. Yeah, the pre pressure. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Here we are in Nordic Folke Center for Renewable Energies and uh, what you see here on the back it's uh, basically a training uh, for wind and solar energy. So right now they are trying to understand aerodynamics so that's our step one and it's basically making the blades of a wind turbine in paper. So they need to just use some hot glue and very basic equipment so that we can uh, quick prototyping and test and then uh, yeah, do it again if it doesn't work. Tomorrow we go to the next step which is working with wood and that's of course more complicated because it's a process that really takes you a lot of attention and then if you do it properly then you can see the wind turbine spinning and you can see how much energy you are producing. Be careful because you see now it starts to crack here in the middle. Okay. This year we have had uh, I think around uh, six, seven groups for a total of 80 to 90 students. So it's basically from March to now to June, uh, we have had every couple of weeks, we have had a group from a technical school in Turkey. We find that this Denmark is the best uh, country for the uh, renewable energy. And uh, we have this option here, Volker Center. Is the, I'm coming to this place about six years. And in all the Turkish students learning, uh, because it's a test center and a fantastic place to learn about the wind and the sun. Uh, this is why we choose here. We are working on a, on a roughly one meter uh, blade, of, uh, which is a double blade, so it's two blades in one, basically. And with that, uh, we should get around uh, 20 watt as production, but one group managed to get 35. So that was uh, quite impressive. And you could see that they were really satisfied of that, because of course, it's, you made it with your own hands. Then uh, you can also make it larger, it's just a matter of scaling it up. The key to do a good blade is uh, trying to, I would say, on one side try to understand aerodynamics, but on the practical side is trying to do many of them. On a smaller scale, do many mistakes, and that, that's also the way I learned it myself. I did six, seven blades before I got one that was without a, a very big mistake I was doing. Volker Center is a fantastic place. It's the as I told you, I'm coming here last six years and uh, always welcoming and uh, people and so so good to helping us all the time. It's a fantastic place and very good test center. They have everything for the renewable energy. Then there is the big surprise when we are testing and it could be a good or a bad surprise because sometimes it doesn't work, it doesn't even spin. Sometimes it spins but there is not enough to produce electricity. When you see a number and you see your, per, your turbine is producing more than the others, then it's also pushing you in, in yeah, learning more and performing more. It's the same as this one. Okay. They learn the basics, they can replicate it at home if they want. Then of course we cannot follow up on what they are doing at home, but we actually got some schools asking us to, to send them the drawings, the 3D drawings, so that they could continue themselves and try themselves at school. So in this way, I would say it's a good feedback.